Greetings, my fellow starseeds. Reporting live from Planet Divine, we are bringing you a very special episode of Starseed Direct TV. Tonight, I will be reviewing one of the new decks that I received, authored by Travis McHenry. It is titled Angel Tarot. Published by a very well-renowned publishing company of the Divination Arena. Shout out to Rockpool Publishing, who I am an avid supporter of. I have collected quite a few decks that they have published. And we're going to get into my review of the Angel Tarot. When I received the box, it was shrink-wrapped and packaged very nicely. I also liked the accents that the publisher took to take the extra mile into the detail of the design of the box. Upon opening it, I was delighted to see that it came with a very detailed and high-quality printed guide. Underneath you will see the deck. Now, in the back of the book, it is designed just as any other published book would be. It details all the cards and even has a nice table of content, which I thought was a great addition. Most decks that I've received did not have this feature. What I also noticed about the author is his impeccable sense of detail to not only creating his own version of the traditional tarot but taking the extra mile in doing the research to make it as authentic as possible all of the major arcana in this particular deck are highlighted in gold the deck itself has gold foil on the lining, and each card has the authentic seal of Solomon on the back. Now, what I was fascinated most by, again, was how detailed the design was. I thoroughly enjoyed the material used for the cards. They're the perfect size for my hand and they were surprisingly lightweight. Another thing I noticed upon first holding the deck is that each card not only has the Solomon symbol on the back, but it also embodies the signia and the translation of the angel on the card. It traditionally tells you on the top what the card represents from the traditional tarot. Angelic language translation and the individual angels insignia on the bottom. All the artwork is, for the most part, original, created by the author and with the help of the publishing company for some of the art. I also thoroughly enjoy the introduction and the fact that the deck can be used not only for divination, but for meditation and evocation. It breaks down the hierarchy of the 72 angels of the Kabbalah, which fascinates me because this is something I've been researching as of late. It has many uses, not only in summoning and releasing angelic spirits, but also delving deeper into the dynamic of the 72 Kabbalic angels and their purpose 
in guiding and protecting humans alike. And the deck is separated by the different hierarchy of angels. Thoroughly, I enjoyed the detailed penmanship and the art of the deck. I thoroughly enjoy the deck and I look forward to using it in my readings. Thank you so much for tuning in to this review. And until next time, Starseeds.